Hello everybody, NASCAR Fan 19 back here with another round of GeoGuessr. Now, if you've been keeping up with this series, you'll know that we have been doing pretty well in the past couple of games. We've gotten several perfects, especially on this one last July. Got three rounds in a row that were basically perfect, and that is just insane. So, we are going to try to increase our difficulty here a little bit. We are going to go ahead and we're going to set a time limit on how long we spend playing this game. We're going to go for 15 minutes, going to get my little stopwatch on here, and for 15 minutes, you got to get through the whole five rounds. I can split the time up as, as long as I want to, but I have to be finished in 15 minutes, so if I spend a lot of time on one place, then I got to, I have less time on the other, other four places. So that's how this is going to work. And as soon as I click single player, I'm going to start the watch and get going. So let's get right into it. Single player and start the watch. All right. Time is started. 15 minutes. Okay. We are on the right side of the road. So we're not in the UK. It's a very Grassy place. See if we can determine what the sign says. Uh, it doesn't look English. Uh, I think that's it. Does that say Fruto? That might be. That would be a Spanish. This, this looks like a Spanish. Look, it's a Spanish-looking sign. So we can narrow it down to a. Oh wait, there's more here. So we've kind of narrowed it down to a certain area. Frito, Alavinos. Oh man, that's stupid. Cameras, okay, uh, Alevinos. Whatever that is, it's like a fish that's like attached to an Internet Explorer logo. Um, okay. Let's go a little bit further down. Very interesting bus shelter. Um, it's not a very rich area. Uh, I, I mean, you could really put this in a... I don't want, I, I don't, I want to think that it's Spain, but if I'm wrong, then it'd be somewhere in the South America area, and that would just be a very bad, uh, wouldn't be a fun score right there. I could spend a lot of time on this. Oh, there's a sign coming up. Let's see if this could tell us anything. Okay, um, Musu Militar, five kilometers. Okay, so that's not Museo. Museo is Fiscal is El Electronica. Fiscal is Zacal Electronica. Sorry, I'm terrible with languages. Although I can, I mean, I can recognize some, but pronouncing them is probably just inadequate all the time. Um, okay, is this gonna? Does this have a? Oh, why don't you have a? I have an address on you. Uh, God dang, that doesn't tell me anything. Um, okay, there's a sign here, and I can't figure out. I can't get around it. Uh, another truck, and there's nothing on the side. Oh boy, this is very, very desolate. We got one more sign, and I think I'm gonna cut it, call it quits on this end if I can read it. Uh, is that, I think that says BR, so this must be some somewhere Brazilian. Okay, uh, get this, bring this up a little bit. Um, okay, so I think that says BR, which would mean this is a Brazilian place. Uh, Elenau? Where was the other place? Was there another name on this? Not really. Ellen out. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna get this. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to do a lot of searching. I don't think it's gonna be a very big city. Um, so it's gotta be somewhere where it's not rainforest. Uh, we're gonna go toward the north, nor central east part. I'm thinking. Uh, where where is Rio? Okay, it's down there. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna put it like somewhere toward the southeast. I'm gonna make a guess. Go ahead for it. Uh, okay, it was very far down toward the south end of Brazil. Okay, we got 2,000 points off of that. Narrow this down a little bit. Okay, we were in a very tall, uh, tall trees, large fields. 
uh, we're on the east side again. I don't know which way I want to go to find some signage. Uh, this could vary. Well, this could be a lot of places, actually. I was going to say, it, it seems like a very backwoods American place, but doesn't necessarily have to be American. Um, da, da, da. No signage out here whatsoever. Which is not helping my cause. I mean, if it's not America, that's not an American sign, definitely. Okay, so I'm, I'm, it has to be somewhere European. Surely, I don't think that any... I can't imagine this in other... I mean, Australia could probably be a next guess, but I don't think this is kind of full... Not this kind of foliage. Uh, yeah, basically that. Okay, we're up to five minutes. Still no signs. Um, there is some. Uh, again, don't know. I don't know this language, um, but can tell it's not. It's not French. Don't think it's German. Definitely not English or Ireland or Portugal. Not Italian. Um, I'm looking in this particular region. Um, could be Polish, whatever. Pol Polish is no. There's no Polish language. They kind of, they share a language, don't they? I don't know. I don't know what Pol what language Poland speaks, or if Polish happens to be a language. And I'm sorry if I sound really dumb saying that, but that's not honest. Honest thing. Um. Shoot. Uh. So we're in the middle of nowhere. Trees, maybe, maybe, um, it could be Swedish. I don't, I want to say it's like, it's not going to be too far north unless this is like summertime. Um, I'm going to take my stab at somewhere, there's kind of greenish. I'm going to go right there. Kind, no, actually, more toward the middle. I don't, I, mean, I want to put it somewhere where it's near Norway because it might be that. I don't know. Okay, uh, it was in uh, Finland. Yeah, Finland. Yeah, it was close. We got 3,443 points on that. We are still on a good pace. Okay. Uh, this could be American as well. In fact, it's looking more American at the moment. This could be like a Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma type of place. What was that sign? I, it was like a turn with 65. I don't know if... Uh, it, we don't normally see those signs, like, kind of like the 65. You don't see, like, a number imprinted on the bottom of those signs. You see turn signs, but not numbers. Um, once again, we're in the middle of nowhere with no signs, and this is just not going <laughs> well for us. Uh, another 65 turn sign. Uh, can I? I can't turn in there, can I? What does that say? I can read it. Octolock Dairy Shed. Okay, so this is definitely... Okay, so it's gotta be... It's English. I hope... There's, there's something, else, other, something else is there, but I can't read it. It was too blurry. Oh, shoot. So what if this is... I've never seen a number underneath a turn sign at... Uh, on, an, on American signs, but... God, this could... I mean... New Zealand. Okay. Th that's perfect. There's a NZ right there. It's gotta be New Zealand. This could... I could... I could see, honestly, I don't know what New Zealand... It's landscape really looks like. But I imagine it's not mountainous. It could very well be. Uh, okay, well, it actually is kind of a little bit mountainous. So we gotta look for places that are kind of flat. Um, which it seems more like... There's a few places where it could be flat. I want to say this is more toward the south of New Zealand. Let's take our guess. And it was, of course, it was in the north. Because 
Why not? Okay, we got 3,000 points anyway. At least we found the nationality. Okay, now uh, this is a little bit more populated. Good thing. Um, getting a European vibe right off the bat. Got to find some words. There we go. Club. 24-hour club, I guess. Put a lot of graffiti. Uh, club in la Okay, well... That's back to uh, English, so that, that doesn't really help me. Uh, I can't read that sign with the German. It could be. Oh man, I think there's a. I think there's a nationality behind that bar, but I can't read it. Uh, there's not a backside of this sign, is there? There is. I think I see a PL. PL. That could be Poland then. And I could see this as being Polish. Uh, let's do a little bit more investigating. We got time. See if maybe we can narrow it down to a city. But um, at this point, finding cities is going to be very difficult on a time constraint. Uh, okay, language I'm going to assume is in that. Uh, Seniac. Okay, uh, let's use that as a guideline. Or CMEC. I can't, I get, it's crossed out for some reason, so I can't really. Okay, we're looking for CMEC. Could take a while. Um, this guy's like our best. Look, hope I'm not glancing over it. As soon as it hits, uh, As soon as it hits 12, I'm just taking a guess, taking a stab at it. Trying to keep within my borders. Not seeing anything. So this has got to be a really tiny town. Still in Poland, right? Yep. Whatever that city is to the top of it. Um, Gonna do another scan through a little bit closer, see if we can get some more towns in here. Um, don't think it's somewhere near the ocean, or sorry, the channel, or whatever the body of water is right next to it is. Um, well, I want to think that this is closer to uh, more inland. I can definitely tell by these city names that the uh, nationality is probably going to be right, and we are running out of time, and we are going to... Okay, we're just going to make our guess somewhere in the middle, uh, somewhere next to us. Oh man, I wish I found a route sign. You know what, we're going to take our... We're going to spend a little bit more time, and we'll see, see if we can find a route. Uh, this thing will give me the opportunity. Uh... Come on, show me a highway. Show me a highway. 70? I don't think it goes like that. 8. Uh... Oh, man. God, this is torture. I really want to get close to this one. Uh, highway 8. Highway 8. B somewhere. Can't tell how they order these things. Come on, come on, come on. Show me an 8. So, show me an 8 somewhere. This better not be a tiny little highway that no one's ever gonna find. I'm wasting so much time in my last, in my last go. Uh, where the heck is this 8? I see a 7. I've seen like two 7s now. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just gonna, we're just gonna put it down. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go. Okay, it was more toward the south. 
south end of it at 4,200 points. We have a minute and 15 seconds left to determine where this place is. Um, looking kind of toward the Rocky Mountains, possibly. It's a nice high, it's a nice winding road, so I think it's American. Um, okay, that could be a mailbox. Uh, no signage whatsoever, so this is a total blind guess for us again. Um, somewhere that is still uh, somewhat populated. There's cars going by. Um, come on. Uh, oh shoot, that's not an American sign. Shoot. John's a 582. Uh, Europe, Europe, Europe. Um, John's a... I don't know what language I could be. Where, where this... 582. Just look for something sign. Do the highways match up? Oh, where's the next country? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta go. Um... Norway. We ran out of time. Uh, it was Finland again. God dang, it's freaking Finland. We got twice. Twice we got Finland. Okay, well, that is the end of this you guesser speed round. We actually did pretty well. I mean, we finished above average. Got fifteen thousand four hundred forty-six points. Uh, and for the most part, our con. I mean, we didn't have any real outliers. I mean, we several times we got in the right country. Other times we were like right next to the country. Uh, we got pretty well geographically, just didn't get the points or the perfection that we were hoping we would get. That's what happens when you're speeding around and trying to get everything done at the same time. So that's going to be that for today. Thank you all for watching the speed round of GeoGuessr. If you enjoyed the speed round more than the me trying to find perfectly, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below that you did enjoy this uh, idea, or if you want to go back to me trying to take my time for the perfection. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. NASCAR Fan 19, signing out.